And let's create something in Inkscape from scratch. I've just created a new document. I'm going to make something here. I'm no artist, so I'm going to make it very nice and simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Christmas tree because it has lots of different shapes. So I'll make a rectangle. I'll use the rectangle tool, click and drag, and I can get a rectangle. Now, it'll take default colors and things, uh, whatever's here. In this case, it's white. You can see fill and stroke, white with black line. Uh, I can f choose different colors in this palette down here. Click and it'll choose that as a the fill. Uh, I can adjust this by double clicking and get the fill and stroke panel here. Um, the fill, you can choose different kind of colors. You can have gradients and you can mess around with that. Right now I'll just choose this here. Let's see, I'm going to pull this down here to a darker brown. Stroke paint is for the lines, so you could choose what kind of colors or um, you know, if I wanted to have a brown line around it, maybe a dark brown here. Uh, and you can choose the thickness, and you have different controls for fill and stroke. Uh, you have different handles for the rectangle here. I've got these two squares that let me resize it, and this circle which lets you round the corners. But I'll leave that square. Now I want to make a tree. Uh, I can make different shapes. There's a freehand lines. For me, that probably the easiest is the Bezier curves. And if you click on this, if I click and it draws a line coming out, click again, I get a sharp point. It gets an angle. You can see there's a point. If you click and drag, you can get a curve through that point. So I'm going to get nice little curves here. Click and drag, and then click to get a point at the end. Click and drag, and I'm going to stop this so uh, click drag to get a curve point click to get a point click here to get a point click drag and then double click at the end or just single click there and there's my lovely tree uh, I want to fill it with green so let me scroll through these things and see uh, there's a nice green color uh, and I'm going to make uh, stroke no stroke so there's no line around there now it's not a very pretty tree you can use this uh, path or the nodes tool to adjust things so if I grab these nodes I can affect where they're going to be and that lets me clean it up make it a little bit more ooh I grabbed one of the handles and now it's all messy let's see I'm gonna grab that handle if you grab these curvy handles it all turns around uh, and then the square lets you actually move the node. So I'll just leave that there. If I had more time, I'd get interested in that and change things around. But for right now, that's fine. Now let me put some, some circles on there. I'll click and do a circle. Uh, now there's nothing on there, so let me choose a uh, red ball. And uh, I'll do another one. Now, one of the things to know is, and as I click and drag, down at the bottom, you might see where it says ellipse. It says control to make square. So if I hold down the control key on my keyboard, it's going to keep it as a, a pretty good circle there. Okay. So if I hold down, if I, you know, if I don't hold down the control key, I can get all kinds of different shapes. If I hold the control key, it's going to constrain it either to be an oval this way, or if you drag it a more or less a 45 degree angle, you'll get a nice circle. So click and then notice that the circle, you've got different handles. You can stretch it out then if I want to. The circle handle lets you choose arcs or segments and uh, you can play with that. I'm going to uh, leave that and you also have controls up here to make arcs and segments. I'm going to just make that a nice circle. So you could have different circles. Notice there's also a star and polygon tool. So let me put a star at the top. Ooh, that's fancy. You can see here the number of corners. There's controls up here. And let me go down to a five. And let me adjust these. That's nice. And I want to make that yellow. So let me go and make that a nice yellow. Uh, and I can put that there, and I want to turn it, so I'm going to click on it, and that lets me turn it. And there's some of the tools and some of the basic overviews.
that's pretty much a quick overview of Inkscape. Look for more tutorials and you'll find different things you can do.